Welcome back to my channel. I'm Alex and today I'm going to show y'all how to do this easy Tunisian crochet cable. There are two versions of this cable and I will show both in today's video. The RC or right cross cable crosses over the front to the right and the LC or left cross cable crosses over the front to the left. Both are beautiful and can be used to add gorgeous texture to your scarves, beanies, cows, or whatever project you would like. Today I'm using Universal Yarn Uptown Worsted in Antique Rose. I'm also using a size K 6.5 millimeter Tunisian hook by Clover, but you can practice with a hook that has no handle. And I'm also using a cable stitch holder by Clover, but you can use another crochet hook as the cable stitch holder if needed. I will also have those instructions in this video. A stitch marker can also be used to mark the cable rows. The link to the written instructions will be in the box below. Let's get started. Both cables begin the same way. Row 1, forward pass. Chain 14, starting in the second chain from the hook and working in the back humps of each chain, pick up a loop in each chain across. You should now have 14 loops on the hook. Return pass. Yarn over and pull through one loop. Now to begin the repeat, yarn over and pull through two loops. Continue yarning over and pulling through two loops until one loop remains on the hook. Row two, forward pass. Tunisian knit stitch into the next two stitches. The first loop on the hook counts as a Tunisian knit stitch here and throughout the rest of the pattern. Tunisian purl stitch into the next two stitches. Tunisian knit stitch into the next six stitches. Tunisian purl stitch into the next two stitches. Tunisian knit stitch into the last two stitches. You should now have 14 loops on the hook. Now make a regular return pass just like in the previous row. I will have the time stamp below. Row 3 through row 4, repeat row 2. I will have the time stamp below. I'm going to make my repeats and then I'll be back to continue on. Row 5, forward pass. Tunisian knit stitch into the next two stitches. Tunisian purl stitch into the next two stitches. Now for the right cross cable. I will have the time stamp below for the left cross cable. Now to make a 3-3 RC. First I will show with the cable stitch holder and then I will show with the second crochet hook. Tunisian knit stitch into the next three stitches. Slide these three stitches onto the cable stitch holder and hold in back. Tunisian knit stitch into the next three stitches. Slide the three stitches from the cable stitch holder to the hook. And continue on. 
Drop the main hook and Tunisia knit stitch into the next three stitches with the second hook. Hold this in back and then use the main hook to Tunisia knit stitch into the next three stitches. Slide the three stitches from the second hook to the main hook. And continue on. Tunisian purl stitch into the next two stitches. Tunisian knit stitch into the last two stitches. You should now have 14 loops on the hook. Make a regular return pass. Repeat row 2 through row 5 until the desired length and then bind off. Continue watching this video to see how to work into the stitches in the next row. And if needed, I have a separate video tutorial on how to bind off. The link will be in the box below. I have made my first stitches and now I'm ready to work into the stitches from the cable in the previous row. Work into the front stitches first. And then work into the back stitches. And then continue on. I have already worked rows 1 through 4 and I've started row 5 and now I'm ready to make a left cross cable. The timestamp for row 1 will be in the box below. Now to make a 3-3 LC, first I will show with the cable stitch holder and then I will show with the second crochet hook. Tunisia knit stitch into the next 3 stitches. Slide these three stitches onto the cable stitch holder and hold in front. Tunisia knit stitch into the next three stitches. Slide the three stitches from the cable stitch holder to the hook and continue on. Drop the main hook and Tunisia knit stitch into the next three stitches with the second hook. Hold this in front. And then use the main hook to Tunisia knit stitch into the next three stitches. Slide the three stitches from the second hook to the main hook. And continue on. Tunisian purl stitch into the next two stitches. Tunisian knit stitch into the last two stitches. You should now have 14 loops on the hook. Make a regular return pass. Repeat row 2 through row 5 until the desired length and then bind off. Continue watching this video to see how to work into the stitches in the next row. And if needed, I have a separate video tutorial on how to bind off. The link will be in the box below. I have made my first stitches and now I'm ready to work into the stitches from the cable in the previous row. Work into the back stitches. And then the front stitches. And continue on. 
I hope you liked this video tutorial. If so, please give it a thumbs up and or share on social media. Thank you. Subscribe for more tutorials, fun videos, and free patterns. Until next time, bye and happy crocheting.